damage tray out of make best rendering setting in the whole world for Windows Movie Maker. First of all, you want to have it 8 frames per second video. Then, you want to play it just to see how epicness that 8 frames is. You want to click on that little weird button that, when, that Microsoft stupidly threw in there. You want to click it. You want to cre create new custom setting. You want to put the width to 120 pixels. Don't put that little stupid. Put the height to 240. Now, you want your bitrate at 8,000. I just stupidly didn't do it. Because I'm stupid. Uh, uh, and then put the frame rate at 8 frames per second. That sounds great. That's even more amazing. Click save. Which one is doing all the setting? I put... I put... Sorry, I, I messed up here. I put epic render. done that you want to click save I stupidly didn't do it saved it on my desktop but I couldn't so I have to save in the app data whatever the heck it says oh my gosh that's that just oh my gosh Microsoft you are just awesome oh my gosh I'm such a goofy epic render you want to save that so I put save it once you've done that, you want to click close. You want to click that little stupid button Microsoft made again. It's loading. It's about my computer. Just save that movie. Epic render. Which one? Epic render. Oh, this is... Mm, takes too long. Mm, oh my gosh, why does it take so long? This is so stupid. Microsoft hate you. Now, let's watch that epic video. Look at my background. Look at that desktop. Look at that. Now, we're going to watch that epic video. Look how many frames per second we're getting. Look how good that looks. Oh my gosh. This is like, oh my gosh, this is too good. This is just like amazing. Just pure. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.